17. The role of human beings on earth. Every being in the universe has a reason for its existence and its role. For that reason, the plant on earth eagerly continue to photosynthesize to grow their own body, continue with their evolution, and continue to propagate their offsprings. By doing so, they vigorously maintain the biosphere on Earth. They supply food and shelter to all animals and microorganisms. They not only help animals to breathe, but also help their metabolism with the oxygen they generate as a byproduct of a potassium synthesize. They maintain a comfortable environment in the atmosphere by purifying dirty air and adjusting its moisture content. By the same token, animals also continue their evolution through their vigorous life activities, propagate their offsprings, and supply food for other life forms. The carbon dioxide they discharge through their breathing is used for photosynthesize by plant. Now, what role does a human being play in nature? Let us examine this. First of all, like other animals, humans maximize their evolution through their vigorous life activities. Moreover, as the brain capacity of humans is developed to a far greater extent than can even be compared to other animals, they are capable of deep contemplation and meditation. They have such far advanced vocal organs, they enable them to command spoken languages. The structure and the functions of their hands make them capable of extremely elevate, elaborate works. All these advanced cap capabilities not only provide them with the potential to develop a high degree of human civilization, but ultimately the capacity to perfect and complete the evolution at the level of cellular life forms and advance into the evolutionary steps of the spiritual world. Therefore, the ultimate roles of human beings in nature are first to devote oneself to maximizing, maximizing one's own evolution so that the evolutionary steps at the level of life forms can be completed. Second, to concentrate in endeavoring to help with the evolution of other beings. And third, to provide human bodies to humans who as yet do not have bodies so that they may achieve their evolution. In the end, the main role of a human being is to contribute to the cosmic evolution by facilitating the evolutions of us to the maximum degree. Because humankind is going through the last stage of evolution as animals on the cellular level, humans are often called the beings who are in the process of reaching from the animal to the god. For the Nijian, humans have some outstanding abilities to use nature for their own purpose. Therefore, we need to be aware that should we unquestioningly, unquestioningly follow only the nearsighted human desires in handling nature, it could destroy the ecosystem and make the environment miserably deteriorated. We are responsible for maintaining Earth's biological environment in a comfortable state. Until now, the nearsighted modern science have caused the destruction of the environment in various aspects due to their lack of a holistic point of view. However, when we start utilizing nature from the omniological point of view, all those problems will be resolved and the comfortable and the pleasant environment of us will be restored. One thing we need to realize at this point is that 
the ultimate purpose of human beings' existence on Earth is not to pursue wealth, pleasure, comfort, or convenience, but to seek the perfection of endowment and thereby achieve evolution. Only by realizing this point and endeavoring to achieve that end can one truly gain happiness and meaning in life and achieve the great fruit of evolution.